Scott, Alan, and I are going to be heading uh, over to those cliffs over there. It's about a two-mile paddle. And uh, going to do a quick overnight uh, kayak camping trip. Welcome on the adventure. The reset starts now. Check it out.
Welcome to the reset. My name is Chad. I am joined by Scott and Alan is paddling his way to the campsite right now. We are in central Arizona, just outside of uh, the Phoenix metropolitan area on a lake called Saguaro Lake. And uh, we launched this morning, as you just saw from the marina and paddled here. It took about, a, I don't know, about an hour, uh, but we were going slow and checking out sites along the way. Um, yeah. Just here overnight and uh, gonna check it out. Should be fun. The greatest man to ever grace my presence passed away um, this week, and that is my grandfather. I called him Opa, and he uh, not only was the greatest man that I've ever known, but he was the most influential person in my entire life. And what I'm getting at is, is he was a pipe smoker back in the day, and this is one of his pipes from back in the 80s. And it's one of the things that he, uh, he left me on his passing. I'm not a smoker, but uh, this is very enjoyable. I had to search high and low for good tobacco, pipe tobacco for it, but um, yeah, I'm liking it, I'm digging it. I can see why he, he did it for so long. Look at this mug behind me right here, cooking a hamburger, drinking a bush beer. Oh yeah, living a good life out here. Living the good life, we're having fun. Very simplistic. Uh, or minimalist is the word I was looking for. We're doing very minimalist camping. Uh, when you go on these boats or paddle boards is what Alan's got. Um, that's the tricky part, right, Scott? You gotta figure out what you're gonna bring, you know? What comfort item, you already know what you have to bring, but it's, it's when it comes to the comfort items that you gotta be uh, somewhat selective in the process. But I'm having a good time. Having a real good time yeah. out here tonight. It's beautiful out here. Yeah, I mean, what would you say the temperature is right now? Probably 75, 70? Yeah, between 70 and 75 yeah. easily. We've got a great view. Glad you guys are joining us. Creeper. <laughs> 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 Getting aggressive. The night has come and we're all uh, going to bed. Got a full moon out tonight, so it's kept camp uh, pretty lit up. 
Probably do some reading when we get in the tent and uh, drift off. I'm digging this little Kelty late start tent. It's a one person backpacking tent. Um, you can get them for a decent price online and uh, really highly rated. My favorite thing about it is, well, two things. One, it's completely mesh from the tub up, and uh, but the rainfly is completely waterproof and even comes with this little vestibule right here that you can put your shoes and stuff in. So good night, everybody. Good morning. Slept pretty good. Didn't get uh, didn't get cold at all. Got down into the mid 40s, so the bag kept me plenty warm. But one of the things about camping near water or on the water is that uh, nature is not going to let you sleep in very late. There are birds and animals and insects that, uh, I don't know, it seems like they only make them know, themselves known between 5 a.m. and 6 a.m. So with that said, I'm hungry and uh, I'm going to go outside and start the day. Breakfast is served, albeit not the best one I've ever made, but ever since I, I the pot and pan set that <clears throat> you always have seen me use over the past few years, I go to other than the uh, the fire maples or the uh, GSI outdoors. Got that about three or four years ago from REI. Excellent set, very durable, well-made. I was at Walmart a couple days ago and I seen that GSI now has products there and I got this mess kit. I wouldn't recommend it. It's awful. The The build quality is not what it used to be and that little skillet that I was cooking those pancakes in is like aluminum foil thin, meaning you can't really regulate the heat at all. So that's a bust. It wasn't much. I think it was like 20 bucks. So you get what you pay for when it comes to your mess kits with camping. Um, but yeah, this turned out pretty good. Well, the guys and I are just out doing some exploring around these little canyons that branch off the lake. Fun stuff. I'm not gonna do much talking on this video because I realized on the last few, even me watching them, like back and like after they were published, I realized, geez, man, I need to shut up. I talk too much. So not much talking in this video.